Hello everybody, it is Mike. Um, I am going to be doing an unboxing today. I received a few things, 3,000 things, not really, from Hamilton Books. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and see what I got. Hamilton Books is always good for some value. Um, as well as they have things that you can't necessarily find in other places. Um, in Savannah, there's not a whole lot of choice for physical media. It was Best Buy and um, Barnes and Noble, and they both reduced everything that they have. So pretty much online now. Um, but yeah, I always like to check out the uh, goodies at <coughs> Hamilton Books. Quite a few, as you can see. Some horror, some not horror, some Blu-ray, some DVD. So I'm just going to start with DVD. Um, this movie may be total crap. I don't know, but we're going to give it a shot. It's called Abominable. This is not the one that I like. Uh, this is a different one. So looking forward on um, looking forward to watching this little creature feature kind of thing. It's not rated. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll see. The next one that I picked up was Last of the Grads. Senior Bash will be a killer party. I always like a good, uh, I don't know, high school killer movie. This may be total garbage as well. It may end up going into my, um, <coughs> into my donation pile, but I'm going to give it a shot at least. So, Kind of reminds me of some of those other graduation, graduate, getting killed movies. Um, I bought this actually for a friend of mine. Uh, it is Bambi 1 and 2. I don't ever remember watching 2, but um, I thought this was a nice little set for him. It is Blu-ray. Uh, yeah, I like, I like Bambi, so... All right, let's go ahead. Um, I did get this one. This is really the only movie from this series that I own, this franchise that I own. And the only reason I got it is because it stars Josh Lucas, and, and I kind of collect some of his movies. So it is The Final Purge, or The Forever Purge. I, I have watched these, um, and they're fine <coughs> for what they are, but... Um, uh, truly, I'm just, I just got this for Josh. All right, the next thing that I got, they had, these were all really good price too, so I think I spent maybe around 60 bucks for all of it. Fine with me. Um, I have the first one, Ant-Man, so I figured I might as well go ahead and pick up Ant-Man and the Wasp. Blu-ray with a slip cover. Um, so yeah, different artwork on the slipcover. Nice. So looking forward. I have seen this. I just don't own it. Uh, let's see what else I have in here. Uh, this is a newer one. This one was a little more expensive. It was about 14 bucks. Um, it is called The Lake. It looks like a big old creature feature. I will probably watch this one today. I'm in the mood for some kind of creature feature. So this may be my watch for the day if I can watch it all <laughs> um, I just picked this up because I have this is the only other one I really like I have Die Hard 1 or the original Die Hard the uh, Christmas movie and so this is Die Hard 2 I did like this one as well uh, Die Harder Die Hard 2 Die Harder um, yeah like I said I have the first one and that's really all I need the next one that I ordered was just to complete this, the franchise. I have them all. I have not watched this one, uh, but I'll give it a chance at least. Um, I like Michael Gross, so uh, Tremors, Cold Day in Hell with Michael Gross and Jamie Kennedy. So I've always enjoyed these little creaturey, featurey movie. Um, and then I don't know why, uh, just because I I 
went on a little watching spree of the grudge the the movies the different of the franchise and the first one's good the second one's okay the third one is mm. um this is the remake i guess it's a remake um we're gonna give it a shot uh it's the untold chapter so maybe it isn't actually a remake maybe it is a, another sequel or a prequel, or a diequal, I don't know. But we're gonna give it a shot. I've never heard anything good about it, but I don't you know, that's how it is. And then they had this, um, I have this movie, Pacific Rim, but this is a steel book. So um, just adding to my steel book collection. Uh, I have a special rack just for the steel books. Well, the first shelf of it is steel books. Um, so yeah. So that is my big purchases from Hamilton Books. Uh, and then I did get one more little cutesy thing. Uh, went to Kirkland's and looked around. I needed some um, smellies, good stuff. Uh, they had sell those little caches of stuff. So I got this cute little ghost. Look how cute. Oh, yeah. And my cat is very interested in it right now. But yes, so those were my big purchases for the week. Hope you all are doing well, and I will talk to you later.